So hi everyone, I'm very delighted to be here. I'm representing the City Science Lab in Hamburg. My name is Geza. And um, the City Science Lab stands for collaboration. So we are um, developing technology that helps people to work together, that helps people to talk to each other. You can imagine that in city planning, there, there are a lot of arguments, there are a lot of different interests, and our main action focus is um, to foster collaboration. So our um, tools are interactive data-based uh, tools. We always act in this triangle between civil society, science, politics, and um, economy. We call ourselves a multi-stakeholder lab. It's, very, it's an open lab. We work with a lot of, lot of test groups, so many people, very different people come to our lab, and we try to be very, very people-focused, very people-centered. We work very national, we do work in Hamburg, we do projects in Hamburg, we are closely connected to the mayor's office, we work closely together with the authorities, and we also work very international. We have a long-term collaboration with UN Habitat in Nairobi and also OICT. You can see here the map, mainly in Africa at the moment. I'm going to show you one of the projects. So this is our team, it's multidisciplinary. For me, it has been always very important to have tech people on board, like computer scientists, but also people from social science, and also the arts and design. So art and design is becoming stronger because I think in climate topics we really have to think about the world in another way. So radical Im imagination, storytelling and all those things become much more important. So how do we work with climate data? We have done different projects. I want to get you through it very quickly. We did a project about finding places non for non-fossile energy, energy production. We, are, we have to install wind turbines in the city, and you can imagine that this is very complex. Um, we did a project with Google. Uh, we collected air view, um, air quality data, which is also very crucial for city planning. We did a project in Gabarone, Botswana. This is citizen engagement. I would like to um, explain you a bit how this works. And then the last one is, a, is an art project. So wind power. This was a project with our mayor, because we have to install those wind turbines in the the city and you can imagine that the city is very small, we don't have so much space, no one wants to have it um, in the backyard, Kent just referred to from NIMBY to YIMBY and this is a perfect example to this. So we um, defined the areas, uh, we put a lot of criteria to the spaces, we designed the workshops, who's talking to whom about what, and then at the end we hand over the results to the mayor and to the speciali specialized agency to help them to make the decisions in a better way. This is how it looks like. You can imagine that it's very complex to work with uh, data. The data has to be very accurate. It has to be transparent because people come and work with it. And it's, it's, real, it's real data and it's a real project. It really helps them to decide where they, at the end, put, put the wind turbines. Uh, this Google project was quite nice because we, you know the Google, uh, the Google Maps car and they also um, um, uh, collect um, air quality data and uh, it was a one-year city data collection drive in Hamburg um, and we, um, we did it and we also simulated and analyzed the video and we did some, um, some recommendations to the city about how to protect vulnerable groups, bike paths and so on and so on. You can do a lot with this um, air view data. This was a, a citizen engagement process that we did in Botswana. We have a software that calls DPAS. It's a digital participation software. And um, Botswana has, like many other cities in the world, um, drought and heavy rain things, and they wanted to talk to the citizens about how to um, develop this uh, river corridor. And uh, we um, delivered this software to Botswana. We went there and started to work with the people, and they commented on this area. And I have to say that this is very challenging because we always have to think about power relations. We come from the north, we have a lot of resources, we have technology. But my idea and my vision is really that we can also collaborate in a very nice way. And we have very dedicated colleagues there. It, should be, uh, it, sh it shouldn't be about helping. It shouldn't be about developing. It should be about collaboration. This is what I want to say. So my last um, input is this, this um, working with artists. So we, we also call it artistic research in our lab. Um, I like this sentence, data will help us to see the world as it is, but will it help us also to see the world how it could be? So this, this idea of radical imag imagination, um, data curation, storytelling is very important. 
and we invited many artists to our lab and uh, said to them, look, this is our lab, here you can see the tools, what would you make out of it? So they had a kind of wild card, and that was very funny what they made out of it. One um, artistic collective, they designed a tree planting robot and simulated its impact on urban heat islands. You know that we have those urban heat islands in the city because we build with concrete and steel and glass, it's far too hot. And uh, they built this funny little object, it's very analog, and it has sun sensors underneath, and it's running through the city illegally, informally, and it's, it's a nice object. And um, then they created the, those fake news um, um, little films, and I would like to so show you So we are film. here near Spaschestadt, which is just one of the places where these mysterious trees have been appearing. These so-called road trees are bustling the whole Hamburg, but no group has taken responsibility of this action. Everyone is wondering where these are coming from. This is Maria Oiva and Hamburg Local News. Great, I think it stands for itself, but imagine the city having all those trees coming out of the, of the concrete, which is a very nice idea, I think. So I stop with this. It's a picture that I took at the High Line in New York, and I like it a lot. I like this T-shirt a lot. I'm not interested in competing with anyone. I hope we will all make it. There is competition all over, and competition is very good, but there should be, should be also collaboration, and I, I hope that we can contribute with our tools for uh, better collaboration. Thank you. Thank you.